What's going on, YouTube? I am Hot Mess Ness, MUA, otherwise known as Vanessa, and today's video is a green collab, a collab with some of my friends in a Facebook group that I created to do themed monthly collabs. So this month we decided to do two, and this first look is green. And the other creators, just that is the, the parameters something with greens so here's a sneak peek of the creators who participated in this collab here and over here and here when you're done watching this video please go stop by the other creators send them some love let them know hot mess sent you and now we shall move on to this tutorial all green Fun, green, March, Birthstone, green, St. Patrick's Day, green. And, you know, some of us are looking forward to embracing spring. It is raining here in Southern California. Some places are covered in snow, but we keep thinking March green. It will be green eventually. So here it is, my tribute to green. You want to see how I created this? Just keep on watching. Got a little too heavy with the nose highlight. We'll make sure I leave all the brushes down below in the description box. First, I'm dipping into Makeup Geeks Fiji. This is very similar to Midori from Sugar Pill, but this is the only color I'm getting real crazy with the blend because it does kind of turn into that you know, a deepened green, but I got real heavy with that. Then I went in with Divina Cosmetics Viridian. Oh, this is such a beautiful green and I'm very specific in the placement I've turned my brush on its side so I can start building that definition in the crease and This took several passes to get how I wanted But you see I'm just kind of dragging it to put the color where I want and then you gently buff the sides But I'm not digging my brush into my eyeball. I'm just placing the color exactly where I want working it in the outer V because this is what's creating my shape. Now I'm taking a smaller brush and back into that shade Viridian and I'm tapping the color where I want and then I'm diffusing it outward. But again, this looks like that windshield wiper, but it's not really. You're really just placing and tapping and let the brush do the work for you. It's just put it there and gently drag it over and multiple passes until I get the pigmentation at the level I want while still maintaining the diffusion. And the next color I dip into is Evergreen from Sydney Grace. And this is just a deeper green and I'm going lower. Same technique, tap it on, then kind of put it under where I put Viridian, but same exact process, tap, tap, build in the outer V, kind of drag it over very gently. So that way I'm keeping color, I'm not muddying it up. There'll be a distinction between the colors and it's multiple passes, just showing you again on the other side of the eye that I'm placing that in and dragging it over. And then I start to work closer to the lower lash or the upper lash line. This is because I have a semi hooded lid. This is just a process that works for me. I find it with, you know, aging eyes. It helps too. Then I took that original brush and just tilted it on its side and blend the colors together. And of course you're checking both sides to make sure they're evenly pigmented. Now I'm dipping into lost from Sydney grace cosmetics. It is a dupe for a shade from the subculture palette. If you have subculture, you could use this or lost and I'm just placing that in the lower part of the V, but close to my lash line, putting the color and buffing it in little circular motions. So it's diffused, but I keep going back to do this to build that up. So that way I have that darkness, but I tap the color on and then I buff it around. So that way it's blending, but I'm not blending it with all three shades that I've put on. Tap it on, buff a little circles. And then I'm taking the shade Time Travel from Makeup Geek and back into Lost, the two colors together, and I'm just deepening that up. I do dip back into Lost to keep that green because Time Travel has like that dark blue green. So dipping the two together and that same technique, then I go right back into Fiji 
and I'm just adding more green to the outer part. Now we're getting into the shimmers. This is Divina Cosmetics Spectral, and I'm placing that on all the area that was deep, you know, the outer V stuff. I'm tapping that on, so that way I'm getting a shimmer outer V. And I did this dry first. I do end up going back and wetting it a little bit, but just working that on and keeping it below where I do the blend, so that way my lid has shimmer and my crease is not shimmery. It, it's, you know, it's a process, people. Then I'm taking Luxy Beauty Money Maker and I'm putting that all over the lid. I start with it dry and then I decide, nope, this needs to be wet. So I do end up spraying some Fix Plus on that to really amp up the color. And I'm blending it over toward that green from Spectral. And then I end up adding more of the Spectral on the outer V, the dark color, wet. So that way it's just an overall shimmery lid. See, this is where I'm putting it on wet. And then you tap the brush to blend the two together. And you know, that's never enough. This is never enough. We got to go into a little bit of Moonchild, Lucky Clover, and I'm putting that on the very inner part. You know, the part that you would highlight, but I still want that white part to peep in. I wasn't loving the way that this applied, so I ended up going in with a Luxy brush, Lexi brush. Uh, just a little tiny eyeshadow brush and pushed that white on top. Then I'm like, hey, we're going green. Let's grab some from the Urban Decay distortion palette and I put that on my brow bone it, you know fun stuff blend it all together and you know it's got various tones of green just grab whatever green you got so the lower lash line I decided that I didn't want to be just green I grabbed the shade Navina from Divina Cosmetics and then a little bit of chickadee and I was liking this orangey tone but then I went over that with the various greens. I used the Davina Cosmetics and Sydney Grace, and then I just wiggled the upper lash line and the lower lash line with my Jouer Cosmetics liner, the matte liner. I love this liner, it's just a little too pricey. Okay guys, I am going to go off the camera, put on some lashes, because nobody wants to see that, and then we will be right back. That's um. What is she doing? Is that your favorite kind of lipstick? Like that color? Yeah, I like those <laughs> nude, nudie pink kind of colors. Yeah, I like those colors. But um, after you eat dinner, are we gonna? Yes, honey. Yes, I said we would. Okay guys, I popped on some lashes there. The band's kind of thick. It doesn't give me a lot of room to play. If I was a perfectionist, I would line right here with a black and probably go over the top of my, you know, liner band. But honestly, I just filmed this video. It is nine o'clock at night, and um, I'm just gonna wash this stuff off. So there you have it. But I, I like this. It's literally a monochromatic, monochromatic green look. Literally created the look using a, the top row of my favorite single colorful eyeshadows. And I dipped into some other things too. These are all indie brands. This video will be up shortly or if it's already been up, I'll leave it up in the cards. If it comes up later, I'll leave it down in the, the description box. But literally just taking various greens, and I think the big thing to remember when doing color, uh, you don't have to go crazy with the blend. I was specific in the placement and just kinda blended, but I really like the way that this look turned out. I think it's fun. It's all green, and I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go give the other people in the collab some love. Let them know Hot Mess sent you. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye.